Well, I think the, the one thing, um, and you can, anyone who has a comment or question, please queue up at the microphone. The first question that we really wanted to address before we start discussing possible solutions is, is there anything that we've omitted or any issue that we may have overlooked? Um, obviously, when you're hearing presentations, people might think of a new issue or something that had yet to be contemplated. So please let us know. As if you go to the mic, state your name. My name is Richard Kuperwitz. I'm with Acufax Incorporated, and I've represented various parties and many litigations regarding pipeline incidents. Spending more time in California than I really care to. Uh, I guess to your first question here, well, I've heard the discussions this morning, the 900-pound gorilla that may be being missed here, that's the paradigm shift, and I think the public's starting to catch on to it based on several multi-billion dollar pipeline failures recently, and that is, is the shift in the regulatory environment to a more performance-based uh, regulation versus prescriptive base uh, requires that the, not only the industry, the standard committees, and also the public are coming to the realization that they need certain information regarding how risk management decisions are being made. And so uh, an important part of that uh, addressing those concerns or the anxiety is going to be what standards are you using and how are they changing and are you being a little too creative in interpreting some of the standards. And so I, th I think it places a higher burden, a different burden than past performance on the standards committees, not all standards. Uh, we've talked a lot this morning uh, about the standards incorporated by reference, and, it, and it even, even those standards, it's only the sections incorporated by reference. Um, those need to be more open and transparent, especially if they're changed. And so uh, I would hope all parties uh, would come to this challenge with a spirit of compromise and try to make this a win-win rather than a win-lose. And I'll stop the editorial. Thank you. <laughs> 